Hey folks, and welcome to another episode of Indie Shoutout, where we look at some indie games and show them a little love. This week we'll be looking at Oceanhorn, Monster of Uncharted Seas. Recently Oceanhorn became available for PC and Mac on Steam, and I figured this would be a perfect time to talk about the game. That, and I was going to do Sunless Sea, but I feel like I'd be obligated to change the series title to Andrew's Horror Corner. Which, let's put a pin in that. Oceanhorn is an action-adventure game where you must solve puzzles, beat bosses, and collect a plethora of items. You traverse a fantastical world almost completely covered by water to collect emblems of the gods to rid evil from this world. And yes, this should sound very familiar to you folks. It's pretty much Zelda. More specifically, Wind Waker and A Link to the Past. Even your parental figure walks out into a storm and disappears. Oceanhorn borrows a lot of motifs from the Zelda series. From bombs and arrows to keys and hearts. You even have a spin attack. So is this just a basic Zelda clone? Well, no, or I wouldn't be doing an episode about it. And that's the thing about Oceanhorn. Just because it's a Zelda clone doesn't mean it's a bad game. It's quite fun, really. Corn Fox and Brothers took a lot of time to make this game look and feel fantastic. And the game looks very pretty. I would wager to say that it even looks better than A Link Between Worlds. The controls are responsive, and the dungeons are very entertaining to play. Not difficult, but still entertaining. And the soundtrack is absolutely beautiful. Which is no surprise, since one of the composers is Kenji Ito, who has composed for games such as the Saga series and Children of Mana. The game is only 10 hours long, and I did have a blast playing it. However, I do understand why people wouldn't enjoy this. I mean, why play Oceanhorn when you can play a Zelda game? That's why I would recommend playing it on the tablet. It's probably the best tablet game I have ever played. I would consider Oceanhorn as the Diet Coke of Zelda games, which isn't a bad thing. It's one of those games that is ideal for train rides, plane rides, or even crane rides. If you're not operating the crane, I mean. So if you're looking for a new game to scratch that Zelda itch, then Oceanhorn Monster of Uncharted Seas is a game for you. What do you guys think about Oceanhorn? What game should I spotlight next? Let me know in the comments below. And for all your gaming needs, be sure to head over to shacknews.com.